Judge White has completed his placings in the Melking Shorthorn Senior Three-Year-Old Cow Class. Will the junior exhibitors please take a step forward? The second place junior in the class is also the production award winner and she's third placed in the class. At two years and four months of age and 305 days, she produced 14,152 pounds of milk, 4.3% fat, 608 pounds of fat, 3.5% protein, and 496 pounds of protein. The winning junior entry is the best bred and owned and second placed in the class. Sagisser Clay Penny, shown by Morgan Sagisser of Shelbyville, Kentucky. And the winning entry, and also the best udder, My San Acre O Lust ET, shown by David Riley of Williamsfield, Ohio. Congratulations. And now to our judge with his comments. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I don't care what color cows you milk at home or what color cows you enjoy watching the show. If you want to see the epitome of a very well-balanced, clean dairy cow with a beautiful, beautiful mammary system, you might take a look over here in the milk and shorthorn range. This cow just puts it all together for me. She's got that length. She's got the openness in her ribs. She's strong out over that top. She has a well-balanced udder, a teat placement that's almost to perfection. <clears throat> And it's the strength out over the top and, and her uh, full uh, spring to that rib that puts her over our second cow today. Second cow wearing a beautiful udder herself, but she just doesn't have the balance and the symmetry to that udder and the height and width and the pop right at the top of that rear udder that we got in this first cow. With the advantage she does have in her overall strength, her uh, uh, depth of her fore rib, spring to her rear rib, depth of her rear rib, height and width for rear udder, she goes over this beautiful dairy cow we have in third. It's the dairiness and the openness of this third cow that's just been fresh just a short time that puts her over the uh, spotted cow coming out here in fourth. Fourth cow out over the fifth cow today. She's just a little more desirable in the shape and the teat and the way the front teeth set on the udder than this big, tall, powerful cow in fifth. It's the height and the width of the rear udder of this fifth cow, her overall size and scale, openness of rib, that puts her over the cow coming out in sixth. Really a nice class, exceptional winner in the class.